Hi, I'm Beth from the Byron Public Library, and I'm going to show you how to upcycle a pair of old jeans into five useful items, either for yourself or for gifts. So what you're going to need is a pair of old jeans that you don't mind cutting up, a pair of really good scissors, it, denim is hard to cut, a ruler, and a pen. And then in your kit, you should have received a bottle of tacky glue, a piece of twine, a small little tag, a recycled box, cereal box, two safety pins, and in the paper towel are the two magnets. So we're going to set these things aside and we are going to get started. Our first item we're going to make is the small little basket. I need you to take and turn your pair of jeans inside out. And we're going to start with the one leg. And for the basket, the first thing I'm going to have you do is cut off the bottom seam of the jeans. So you just want to take, um, and right where the side seam is there, you're going to cut in until you reach the top of it right there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut across there and take that piece off. Now, of course, the size of yours is going to depend on the size of the bottom of the jean. If it's a straight-legged jean, it's going to be maybe smaller. If it's a child's pair of jeans, it's going to also be smaller. So we have this piece that we just cut off, and we're going to lay that aside. And for the basket, I measured five inches from the bottom. So where the cut edge is, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to measure up five inches and mark it. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. And then you're going to draw a straight line across. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut right across that line that you just drew. Set the jeans aside for a moment. And you're going to have something that looks like this. Now, the side seams are not going to measure up evenly, which is perfectly fine. What you want to do is you want to take your glue. Now, if it's the first time using it, you're going to have to snip the tip of it because it's, it's sealed closed. So you want to snip the tip of it to open it up. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put along the edge, about a quarter of an inch up, you're going to put uh, tacky, this tacky glue. And then you're going to just press it down. Make sure that you have it all the way to the edge. Okay. Now tacky glue does take some time to dry. So I'm just going to set this aside momentarily. We'll come back to it to finish it up. But we're going to go ahead and get started on our next item, which is going to be uh, the bottle gift bag. I would say that you could use it for a bottle of wine, but you could also use it for something else. Maybe you have a candle that you'd like to give someone, or you have something that you've made and that's in a large jar. 
anything like that would fit in this. So this I already measured up and it's 14 inches. This time though, we're not going to take the bottom off, the bottom seam, we're going to leave that on. And that will be the top of our bag. It'll have a nice finished edge. So again, we're going to take our glue and take our cut edge and we're going to go along the cut edge, same about a quarter of an inch up. Now, if you are a sewer, you can very much just sew this. I do sew, but I thought it would be kind of fun to upcycle something that we could maybe do with glue and not um, not if uh, not have to use a sewing machine, so that people who don't sew could still participate. So, okay, again, we're gonna let this dry. I'm going to set that aside. The next item we're going to make is the pocket magnet. So we're going to now turn our jeans right side out. And we want to cut out one of the back pockets of the jeans. So the best way to get started, you could cut from around, but I usually like to not waste or use any other things because sometimes I'll go back and use a another seam for a decoration or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and just clip it like that. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the bat, the pocket all the way around the outside edge. I usually stand when I do my craft, so sitting is uh, a bit of a challenge for me here. But we're going to just cut the entire pocket out. Of course, we are including the back. Okay, so you can see where we cut the pocket out, and then we have the pocket like that. Okay. Now we need to put a backing on the pocket so that it can hold the magnets. So take the uh, box, whatever you might have gotten, cereal, probably a cereal box, and you're going to put the written side or the printed side of the cereal box and the back side of the pocket and then you're going to just go ahead and you're going to trace that onto the cardboard. All the way around. And then you're going to go ahead and cut that out. I know when I was tracing it, it was moving around. So before I glue it, I'll make sure that we're on the top here I still need to take off so I'm just going to trim it off a little bit more okay so it's going to go like this so we're going to go ahead and put glue on the cardboard to the edge if you can and then do a little in the center as well 
And then the back side of the pocket is just going to be set on top of the boot cardboard. Flip it over and make sure it's on there well. Okay. And then we're going to take our magnets. There's two and you're going to put one in each corner. Now it's very important that before you would stick this onto a refrigerator or wherever you're going to put this, that this is uh, been able to, to dry so that the magnets are it, have adhered well. The kids like these pockets to put in their locker so they can throw some extra pens and pencils in or tissues or whatever um, so they make 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 a nice little gift for 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 teens or tweens um, for them to for the writing you have to make sure it's glued well um, so I guess I won't hold it up for you this time I'll hold it up and then show you so that again we're going to leave that off to the side now the next thing that we're going to do is uh, use the other pocket on the other side and we are going to make from this pocket a cell phone charger holder and so um, what you want to do is you want to draw a line from the edge of the pocket up to the seam here and then where it's double sewed or a zigzag sewed there you're going to draw another line and you're going to do the same thing on the other side okay and then when you finish we're going to go ahead and do like we did on the other pocket and we're going to go ahead and do our little snip but this time we're not going to cut all around the pocket we're going to cut up that line that you drew that i had i drew ahead of time and we're going to cut right up through the felt 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 seam right here flat felt seam and then you're going to cut across that that's going to be like your hanger so it's a little bit uh, heavier more sturdy and then you're going to cut down and now you'll go around the sides and bottom of the pocket Clean this up a little bit there. Okay. So now it looks something like this. And so to make the hanger part, you're gonna to have to cut out the fabric that's right inside here. So again, we're going to just go ahead, fold it in half and snip. And we're going to cut up this side, over here, down this side and over. I'll go ahead and do that so you have a better idea of how this how this works. Again, this would make a a nice stocking stuffer or a gift for a teen. And what they can do is they can just put their phone inside the pocket and then they'll just hang it on it there like that, plug it into the wall, and it will hold their phone while it's charging. So that is finished and ready to go. Now our next item to make is a coaster. And to save time, I pre-cut from another pair of jeans some of these uh, flat felt seams that were on the jeans. So I cut out like this one, and then I cut out this one, and then there's more here on the back side of the jean up here. 
and there's some right here that you can cut out. So I cut out several pieces. This was from a pair of women's jeans. Right now I'm working with a pair of men's jeans, so you'll have more seam to work with. This was women's jeans, so I didn't have as much to work with, so I also used um, the hem that I, I took off. So this is how you do this. You have these pieces that you have um, cut off from all various parts of the jeans, these seams, and that's all you have to do is, uh, once you've got them cut out and, and, uh, and trimmed up and ready to go, you just have to glue it and roll it. So you're going to just glue and then you're going to roll. Now the nice thing about tacky glue is if you get it and you think, oh no, I've got this white glue all over, not to worry, it dries clear. So it's very nice for doing projects that you um, that aren't necessarily white in nature. So, and so you're just going to continue to glue this and roll, glue and roll. And if you have one side of the seam that seems to be, um, what would I say, M more even or cleaner, um, I like to use that for the top part of my coaster. Some more glue. Just going to go ahead and keep rolling that. Again, you want to make sure that you give this plenty of time to dry, several hours. I would even do for the coaster, maybe 24 hours before I would use it. The thing that's super nice about these coasters is that they're very absorbent. That denim really absorbs. So now I have, uh, I ended. So I've got this ending piece right here. And then that's all I do is I don't overlap it. I just push up this end to that end, to the end that I just finished with and continue rolling it. And just try to make sure that I have it on even as I go. Yes, it is a bit messy, but well worth it in the end. Okay, so I have that. Oops. Now I'm going to go ahead and add more to that. Probably would have been handy to have a wet rag because... Yes, my fingers are very glue, gluey. Just going to continue to roll that. Go over where the two seams meet. And what you want to do is you want to just continue to add on to this as you as you need it. Now, what happened with um? With this is that I ended up running out of the seam, so I ended up using the hem. And the hem on this particular pair of jeans was somewhat worn out. Um, and it was not quite the same um, width of the rest of it, but it still worked out when I put it on there. So I'm just going to keep coming around here. So this is the size that it would be if I, if I didn't, um, if I hadn't used the hem. Uh, but I wanted it to be a little bit longer, and so I went ahead and used the hem. Now this hem is interesting because you can see it's very worn out, and but it's still, um, it'll still work. Uh, and it's a little bit wider than the 
other seam that I put on there. But it's fine as long as you make sure you keep the top part of your project even. So just add that on there. And normally I'll cut off this like thicker part where it was doubled, but as I'm finishing this up, I um, I decided just to leave that on there because it's it won't make a it won't make a big difference. It adds a little bit of character to it as well. Okay, and so there we are. We've got the coaster. It's all set and ready to ready to be dried. So let's go back now to our other two items that we were working on. First, we're gonna go back to our uh, little basket and I wanna give it some shape. So because we're not sewing it, we're gonna give it shape with safety pins. And this is how you're gonna do that. So you're going to take, still have it, um, the um, inside out and you're going to just put your finger in there and you're going to kind of make a point like that and then you're going to safety pin it oh about maybe an inch down across right across here so kind of what it's going to be like is as if you had used a sewing machine and sewed across that area there And then close that up and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side so put your finger in like that and then put the safety pin again put the safety pin in and across Definitely it's thick. Have to take it back it on a little bit because it's a little too thick. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to close it this time. Okay, got it closed. So it's like that, but then when you turn it right side out, It's going to give your bag a little bit of form on the bottom. So it's going to be kind of like this. Can you see that it's just a, goes a little bit across there like that? Okay. Now um, you can turn it down. Um, I like to have that little bit of the inside showing out. So you can turn it down and then glue it down. Um, and then you can decorate it however you like. You can use twine, you can use buttons. Um, you can even use um, some of the seam from your, your jeans. But it makes just a, a really nice little bag. I like it to store my different colored Sharpies in. It just, it works out really nice. But I definitely would glue the edge down. Okay, then our next is our wine bag. And I do have a bottle of wine I'm gonna show you how to 
So you turn it right side out and you're just going to stick a bottle of wine or whatever it is that you're going to put in there. You can write on the tag, whatever you'd like, and then you're just going to twist your your wine, your twist your twine, and then in order to make it look a little more shapely, you can just go ahead and tuck this in like so, and it will just give it a nice little look. And it, like I said, it'll work for all different kinds of things. So here you go, you've got a pair of jeans and you were able to make several things from it. Uh, pocket magnet, cell phone charger holder, a coaster, a gift bag, and a little basket. And you can decorate them with rhinestones, whatever you have around the house, or not decorate them at all. Well, thank you so much for joining me this evening.